Welcome back, guys. Tonight we're playing in the Court of the Kingly King from YSTY Games. It's one of their free trial games, I guess you'd call it. Yep. Click start. Okay, let's do it. Hmm. You want to read or me? I'll start. Okay. <laughs> the first thing I notice upon entering the town is the rather unappealing stench. <laughs> Perhaps one day the seat of power of an empire will be a clean, wondrous place. But if it were not for the imposing fortress atop the hill in the center of town, I could be in any flea-ridden settlement north of the Burning River. The warm comfort of the monastery seems so far away now. It is not unknown for a monk to be sent away to travel the land and learn of the outside world, to right wrongs and fight evil. But my mission is something different. I am here to kill the king! <laughs> Wow, okay. <laughs> Health 10, standing in court 4, strength 1, cunning 1, charisma 1, and luck 1. I want some higher yeah, cunning and well, luck. Yeah. Huh. You can have strength and charisma. I want cunning and luck. <laughs> cunning and luck. <laughs> hmm, okay, I guess I'm here to kill the king. I am here to kill the king. I am not expected at court until late afternoon, so I have time to look around. There are two buildings of note that I can see. A dilapidated antique shop. That is likely older than most of its wares, and a tavern that from outside appears to be nearly empty. The antique shop is the wise option, as it may contain artifacts that will aid me. The journey was harsh, and it would be wiser to calm myself down at the tavern before entering the snake pit of the king's court. Wow. Which do we want? We want artifacts spelled wrong, <laughs> or the well, tavern. Maybe that's a sign. Let's... I guess let's go to the tavern because we have to... Sure, what the hell, let's eat. get drunk. It oh. has to be refreshed. Well, we don't have to drink. Maybe we do, we'll find out. I enter the dragon's flagon. Inside the pub, music is playing. A charting dance hit of 10 years ago being performed by a local loot artist <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> the decoration is minimal, but not ugly. However, oh. a thin film of dust appears to cover mm, almost everything. Delicious. I walk up to the barkeep. Hmm. Should we order a pint of ale? Uh, a glass of wine or water? Boy. Dude, it's dusty. I want water. Yeah, we better go for water. At least I can see if it's dirty. Don't want to slip our tongue. I sip my glass of water as I look around for a table. Cold, refreshing. A good idea not to dull my wits before such an important mission. I see an empty table in the corner. That's bum, bum, bum. Okay, that's right. I'm only placed at the table for a minute or so before I have company. A tall woman with short black hair sits across me. Now, what is a oh, therianthropic monk doing in a dive like this? I give her my cover story. Hmm. The monastery has sent me on a quest to find myself and learn about the world. You sure don't want to say I'm here to kill the kingly king? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Click it. There we go. The monastery only sends initiates on such quests, and you, she looks deep into my eyes, are no initiate. You sense the faintest touch of magic about her. Do you want to choose a curse of my heritage, I'm afraid? I look far older than I actually am. Mm -hmm. By Charisma Cheek. You've caught me. We've heard some tale we've heard tell of some shady establishments selling counterfeit monks mead. <laughs> and I'm here to inspect every pub in the area. Please don't tell anyone. Or do you just want to simply say, I'm actually here to murder the king? <laughs> wow. I say, I'm actually here to murder the king. Okay. Let's what do try. you think? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the woman stares at you. That was, that was a surprisingly honest answer. Thank you. Luck increased. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. My pleasure. Now, may I ask who you are? Now, who the hell are you? Huh? huh. How about be polite about it? Yeah, we'll be polite. I am what they call the criminal element. She smiles. And what does the criminal element want with me? Or I get up to leave. I'm afraid I don't deal with your sort. We're murderers. Yeah. I so guess, let's do criminal element. Yeah. yeah. Since like, we did, didn't go to the antique shop. Yeah, we're totally murderers. Okay. She takes a ring out of her pocket. I recently uh, acquired this ring. It is a very unusual artifact. She spins it around in her fingers before placing it on the table. It is one of the rings of judgment. Where it, and whenever someone tells you a lie, it will heat up around your finger. Mm. Yeah, a nice bit of warming. Hmm, so it's a ring that burns my finger. How much? I don't deal in stolen goods. I want cunning, and I'm going to go with this as cunning. Yeah. So you tell me, how much? Don't turn it down. I think we say how much. Yeah, how much? Gimme, 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 gimme! 
Yeah, because uh, that's right. Yay! Wow. Hmm. It's yours, family. Ten gold pieces. That's nearly all the money I have. Do we say, I'll take it or I'll pass? Wow. I want it. I want it. I want it. You want it? Gimme, gimme, right, gimme. We'll take it. I hand over the gold and she gives me the ring. I slip it on. It was nice to meet you, the woman calls out as she leaves the establishment. <laughs> uh, the ring heats up for a few seconds. She lied. It was not nice at all. <laughs> I finish my water and leave the pub. Did we get more cunning? Yes? No? Maybe? Nothing. Nothing happens. Oh. Oh, wow. As I exit, I look up at the sun. Is that the time? I'd better get to court. Luck check. Hmm. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> I don't like this. Five. You roll a 15 plus 5. I rush up the steep hole, reaching the top with plenty of time to spare. Do we stop and appreciate the view before entering, or enter the castle fashionably early? Yes, since we're there to do some damage, I guess maybe we should take a look around. Okay. A young courtier meets me inside. It's always a pleasure to have one of the order in our midst. The king has assured me that you will be quite comfortable here. He is a very pious man and hopes you have an excellent stay. I know that there are many orders within the monks. <laughs> very <laughs> anthropic. Very anthropic. Sorry. I'm a little sleepy. I don't know if that's how you say it. No, I'm just close. sounding it out. Very anthropic. Yeah, there we go. Second I wonder grade, if you would indulge my curiosity. What form are you? Uh, I am of the Ursidae, the bear. I am of the Vulps, the fox. I am <laughs> scorpions. You can probably guess what animal that is. Do you want to be a bear, a fox, or a scorpion? Oh, gosh. Well. Foxes are cunning. Shall we be foxy? Yeah, we'll stick with the fox. Okay. Maybe it'll give us luck. As a fox, I am cunning and charming. Cunning, charisma, and court standing increased. Yay! All right. Oh, wily old fox, eh? I thought so. Anyway, let me show you to your room for the night. The courtier leads me to a small but well-maintained room. There's a comfortable-looking bed with a magical lamp beside it. The courtier points me towards the dresser. Your courtly attire is in here if it's not too much trouble to, uh, change out of your robes. Do I say, if I must? Or if your king is truly a holy man, he will not begrudge a monk their robes. Hmm. Hmm. Just keep the robes. Maybe we can hide a bigger knife under those. Okie dokie, ducky. Well, fit we in. Uh, oh, okay. I'm not sure the king will like this, though. I reckon I have just enough time to investigate one part of the castle for potential assassination opportunity. Hmm. So in my fox form, I bet I can get into the kitchens unseen. See if I can do anything to the grub. Well, that would poison just about everybody, wouldn't it? Yeah. How do you know which one's the king's? Yeah, and if I don't get the right one. Yeah, I say, I just want to murder the kingly king. Yeah, I could rummage around in the trash. I doubt it would help, but I just <laughs> <don't know. laughs> Not, <laughs> no. Mm -mm. I could have a gander at the barracks, see how many guards I'm up against. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I could wander around, figure out where the exits are. Ooh, escape is good. I could hobnob a bit and get to know the assembled barons and nobles and such. I don't know. Those, one of those last two. Either find all the exits yeah. so you can make a quick getaway. Or I'm going to go with find the Baron's Nobles and such would be yeah. mine because that way. Yeah, they said have a good chance to get closer to the king, I think. Yeah, well, you might find allies too. Yeah. You never know. Okay. And certainly maybe our lying ring might work. Yeah, we'll try that. That's okay. true. That could be a lot of fun. Walking around the castle did not take me long to stumble across a rather foppishly dressed woman. Oh, you're the monk. The theory, the theory, theory, the right. whatever, monk. Theory, theory and topic. That's one hundred percent correct. Or yes. Should we simply say yes? Yes. Really, you're going to correct her grammar? <laughs> Seriously? No, no, no. I you see. couldn't say it either. Yes, <laughs> but that's me. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to meet you. She extends her hand, smiling. My name is the Queen. <laughs> oh, good job. Don't correct yeah. the Queen, dude could have landed me in jail. Take her hand and kiss it gently. Difficult charisma check. Shake her hand. Easier charisma check. Well, let's do the difficult because we've got a six charisma. I mean, yeah. that's kind of high. I mean, what's she going to do? At least I didn't. Yeah, seriously. Her. Here we go. Oh. You roll a ten plus six. The queen blushes. Yeah. Oh, what a charming, charming person you are, she laughs. Our court standing has increased. Nice. 
So we discuss various matters such as politics, religion, and the Queen's favorite science fiction books before she must leave to attend the feast. Didn't ask her, hey, do you want to kill the kingly king? <laughs> <laughs> bong, bong. I bet that's the dinner gong. I better get to the Great Hall. Yeah, I like that one. That was nice and easy. <laughs> As I enter the Great Hall, I look around. Nobles, courtiers, and assorted guests are seated along at a long table furnished with copious amounts of food. The servants are just bringing in the starter soup. As my standing in court is so grim, the king himself beckons me over to sit next to him. Hello there, you're not the monk the monastery are always threatening to send over, are you? I guess we just say that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I sit down next to him. Fantastic. Now settle an argument between the missus and me. There's this group of louts that keep painting obscene <laughs> symbols on the walls of the castle at night. What was that last one they drew? Down? <gasps> yes, that's right. <laughs> a penis. <laughs> Can you believe it? A penis. <laughs> so what do you answer? Wow, wow. a penis. <laughs> <laughs> a penis, the king exclaims. Anyway, last night, one of the guards caught the blighters and they're down in the cells. I say chop their heads off. Vanessa says chop their legs off. What do you say? Uh, we could choose chop their heads off. It's the only way they'll learn. <laughs> That's quite intellectual. Get rid of their legs. It will help them become productive members of society. Or, being monkish, we can say maybe. Now look, I know this might sound a bit extreme, but have you at least considered, you know, it's just a thought. But maybe don't chop anything off them. We're hmm. quite monkish. I'm going to go with the last one. The I mean, we are one. a monk, dude. Yeah, it'll a take, murdering monk. It'll take them off guard, too. Yeah, that's true. Since we're there to Our standing's going to go down. Guy. You know that, right? The king stares at you for a second, then breaks out into hysterical laughter. Ha ha, I never knew a monk could be so funny. <laughs> let's chop their legs and their heads off, the queen interjects. Yes, let's do that. That's the thing to do. Fan laughter. It was all a big joke. Ha ha. Stay silent. You know, we got to fit in, so you better yeah. just stay in your laughter. Told you that was a bad choice. The, the king... Ki okay, your turn. The king leans forward to take a sip of his soup. Shall we do likewise or refrain? Mm -hmm. Better wait. King eats first. The yep. king seems to enjoy the soup well enough, <laughs> but you get the impression onions really aren't his thing. Okay. After the long conversation, he begins to talk again. Okay. You know, the queen of Riojo keeps thinking I'm going to invade them. Ha! She even says she's going to have an assassin kill me. What, Tosh? I'm not going to invade Riojo. The ring on my finger burns for a second, so the king's lying. Bum, bum, bum. Now, the king clinks his glass with a spoon, and all in the room stop talking. I request to put to our holy friend here, but I want you all to hear it. So, you know, there's social pressure. Ah! Oh, I'm listening. <laughs> the king beckons me closer. Now, no one outside the court's to hear this. You see, we've got, we be in the court, we've got a little dragon problem. <laughs> and while we've all heard stories of the great shape-shifting monks... we got a shape-shift? <laughs> and how they used to slay dragons in the olden days... When such creatures were common, this is true, although dragon slaying is not really something taught to monks anymore. Well, we've got this dragon living in a cave near town, and we're pretty sure it's going to come and kill us all any day now. So if you could be a deer and get rid of it for us, that would be swell. <laughs> now, don't think I won't reward you. In fact, I need a new staff on magical advisor. Well paid. Very cushy job. Sure, just kill a dragon now and then. I need to think. I need to think a lot. I'm close now, close to the king. One swipe and I could end this. But the dragon presents other opportunities. The first, with that job waiting for me, I could quit the order, become rich. I wouldn't have to kill the king at all if I just took out this dragon. The second, assuming that I don't want to betray all I've ever known, and assuming that defeating the dragon might not be all that easy, is I could get the dragon to do my job for me. Hmm. hmm. If the dragon descends on the keep, the king would surely perish, and I wouldn't. I would be pretty much beyond suspicion, but also far away and practically back at the monastery before anyone even suspected foul play. Shall we take out our dragger and strike the king? Hmm. Accept the job? Or reject the idea that I have to do any of this? I don't want to kill a man. I don't want to fight a dragon. I really just want to leave and go back to the tavern. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which should we do? We're there. I don't think we should like kind of kill the king because we have one strength. Yeah, that's pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> 
That now, be... if you accept the job, that kind of like leaves your options open because yeah. you could accept the job and flee and let the dragon right. eat the king, or you could kill the dragon. I'm thinking about it, taking the job. Let's take yeah, the we job. don't want to just leave. The king yeah. will probably have your head chopped off. Yeah, right. A day later, and I'm hiking across the hinterlands of the capital city. It is a pleasant day, hot, but with a cold wind blowing in my face. I look down at my map and look up to see the mouth of a particularly large cave. The map helpfully <laughs> labels this cave. The Dragon Cave of Inevitable Painful Burning, followed by Death. Thanks, map. Yeah, totally. With little other option, I enter the cave. No, we're not strong. Mm -mm. The further I move into the maw, the darker it gets. Soon, the only thing I can sense is the sound of my footsteps. I can cast a minor illumination spell or stick to the walls hoping not to get lost. We're pretty cunning. So let's do the spell. Yeah, let's we'll try this. Spell. Of course, the dragon will see us then. Yeah, I know. <coughs> you roll an 18 plus 6. With a skillful flick of the hands, a low delicate light surrounds me. Enough to see, but not enough to alert it to my presence. I slowly creep forward, eventually come into a great sleeping beast. A purple dragon, fully grown. Ooh. I approach the dragon. Of course you do, fool. The dragon wakes and rises up. It towers above me. It speaks in a voice both ancient and youthful. I see a little <laughs> maggot has come to be my plaything. But tell me, are you here to bargain or are you here to die? <laughs> are you here to kill the king? Oh, do I to say? <laughs> I'm here to kill you for the king. I'm here to bargain. No blood needs to be spilled this day or I'm here to die. I don't want to choose that last one. Yeah. I so, think you should tell him you're there to bargain. Yeah. Because you're actually, well. like, supposed to kill the king, dude. Yeah, I know. Let's keep your fingers crossed. Now, what is that you want? I want you to assault the Imperial Castle and kill the king. <laughs> <laughs> huh. I want you to fly away and leave these lands alone forever. I changed my mind. I'm just going to kill you. That looks like fun. Yeah, let's go with the first choice. No! And what's wrong with, I've changed my mind, I'm just going to kill you. Maybe we could try it. you want to do that? Probably not! <laughs> okay. It's over, I think, if he eats us. Well, I don't know. Maybe we'll get lucky. Okay. See if you can gain now, some strength. Okay. We'll do this. All right. See what happens. Now, tell me why. Why should I do as you ask? Let me convince you. Charisma check. Oh, boy. Okay, go ahead. Uh, you roll a three plus six. <laughs> I argue my heart out. I tell the dragon about the time the king blamed an economic slump on dragons. Or about the time the king blamed a lack of school places on dragons. Or the time the king blamed an undersourced health services on dragons. Sounds like some of our presidents. <laughs> I'm quite used to rulers blaming all their problems on outsiders, said the dragon. I'm afraid I'm quite numb to it. No, not do your bidding. Let them wallow in their bigotry. The dragon rises. Its claws extend. It's preparing for a fight. Bum, bum, bum. So be it. <laughs> Becoming a fox won't help me now. I draw my dagger and charge. Strength check. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. You roll an 18 plus 1. I rush the dragon. It barely gets a chance to breathe in before I'm under its belly ripping and cutting. It struggles but fails to find me as I continue my assault. Eventually, the dragon falls. As it dies, it exhales its last breath, shooting its last pillar of fire a long way from me. I return to tell the king that the dragon is gone. And he chops off my head. <laughs> <laughs> I eventually find my way out of the cave and stumble back to the castle. As I enter the castle, a courtier hurriedly, hurriedly escorts me to the king. You've returned, the king exclaims. Now tell me, did you get rid of our little dragon problem? I did, your highness. Or it's time to do my duty and stab the king. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you call getting on a roll, man. Yes, mm. I did. You, okay, we just yeah, got yeah. Okay. That's brilliant news. Come, let me show you your new chambers. They're quite something. Nearly as big as the king's own. A massive double-sized bed. Windows that show the closest thing to a nice view in this town. It's bright and well lit. This will do. I quickly settle into my new position. The king was right. It is a cushy job. I still look over my shoulders occasionally to see if the monastery has sent someone else to finish my mission. And perhaps finish me while they're at it. But for now, I'm safe, alive, and wealthy. Yay! Us! <laughs> the end. Well, guys, thanks for watching. This was In the Court of the Kingly King. You can find that on ystygames.com under their free trial games. If you have another game you'd like to see us play... 
please leave a comment or suggestion in the comment section. Please like and share and subscribe. Thanks.